We would like to welcome everyone to our presentation that is focused on moving towards a comprehensive pedagogy of belonging for all. We are pleased to be joining you from Calgary Girls Charter School in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and look forward to sharing with you ways in which we have been intentional about creating a culture of belonging in order to enhance connectedness within the community. 2013, Alan and Bull summarized that although much has been written about the importance of school belonging in educational settings, the literature falls short in offering schools a comprehensive, coherent approach in how to actually build cultures of belonging. So the question remains, how can educators bring belonging research to life in our learning communities? Through research-informed practice, CGCS is working to prioritize and foster school belonging as it relates to all girls education, while recognizing that whole school approaches are not without challenges. We look forward to sharing our journey with you today. Dini Ada, Oki, Tanse, Bonjour, hello. We acknowledge and honor this land, knowing that we are still learning and our words will be imperfect. We strive to listen and to learn. We honor and acknowledge Mokinsis and the traditional lands that are now identified as Treaty 7 territory of the Blackfoot Confederacy, which includes Siksika, Kainai, and Bagani, as well as Sutina and Stony Nakoda Nations. We acknowledge that this territory is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Further, we acknowledge and respect all of the people who make or have made their homes here while honoring and celebrating these lands. Thank you to Maya for sharing with us an excerpt from our CGCS land acknowledgement and corresponding art installation located on the school's doors. The project was a collaborative effort between students and members of Calgary's Indigenous community. On the next slide, Zoe Graf explains how this work is illustrative of the work that we do through Go Girls to prompt and cultivate a sense of belonging for all in our school community. This work has been spearheaded by several members of our community, making a collaborative effort. Since January 2021, our research team has involved many teachers, seen here on this slide. In order to keep today's presentation manageable, you will hear from Colleen Parks, Kaylee Ermter, Zoe Graf, and myself, Sarah Johnstone. Beginning in January 2021, we began to review the educational research related to school belonging. From this came several research questions. How can schools design and enact a pedagogy of belonging for all students? And what factors have greatest impact and how can a school take a whole school approach to belonging? How does our existing Go Girls curriculum, which is embedded in our daily learning, align with these factors and existing socio-ecological frameworks of school belonging found in educational research? And finally, how can our preliminary conceptual Go Girls framework help operationalize school belonging research into practice using a whole school approach? What began as a research question led to a presentation at an international conference hosted by the National Coalition for Girls Schools back in June 2021. We reviewed the literature and worked to map our Go Girls curriculum against the educational research. This led us to design a preliminary conceptual framework that is now guiding our efforts to operationalize school belonging research into practice. This presentation details our journeys and our next steps. If you're interested in viewing our full presentation, it's hyperlinked here, or feel free to visit our CGCS YouTube channel, which hosts our school's research. The literature on school belonging is extensive, but focuses primarily on defining the problem and offers little practical advice for schools on how to improve a student's sense of belonging. However, the 2016 article, What Schools Need to Know About Fostering School Belonging, a meta-analysis by Alan A. Al, um, was really invaluable to our research. A good meta-analysis can help educators and schools more easily synthesize large bodies of research and translate their findings into practice. Using effect sizes, this research systematically addressed and identified those individual and social level factors that most influence school belonging according to research. The strongest predictors summarized on this slide include individual factors, such as cultivating positive personal characteristics, promoting emotional stability and academic motivation and rigor, Micro-level factors, 
including teacher-student relationship, which scored most highly, and mesosystem level factors, such as establishing safe, student-led, and collaborative learning cultures in schools. They leveraged these findings to develop a socio-ecological framework of school belonging, which we shared later in this presentation. As a research team, we knew that the Go Girls program embodies many of the same school belonging factors detailed in this meta-analysis. Our Go Girls curriculum, written by teachers in 2008, using preeminent girl-centric research, is locally developed course aligned with our charter goals. It is broken into four topics, developing a strong self-image, managing relationships, developing strategies for resilience and connecting curricula. Learning opportunities that emerge through these topics allow for all students from grades four through nine to develop, to develop personal agency, celebrate diversity, consider and explore multiple perspectives and build and affirm their personal identity and the identities of others. This interdisciplinary whole school approach interwoven into teaching, learning, and relationships is essential in our community. This research has helped us to see that Go Girls is our lived experience, and that in fact, it has moved beyond a curriculum to become a framework or a way of doing things. Our work began by making our Go Girls curriculum visible to ourselves and to others. Documents such as the one found on this slide were developed to illustrate the vertical alignment and scope and sequence of learning. This slide depicts one strand developing a sense of, uh, or a strong sense of self. Bruner Spiral curriculum is an educational approach that involves regularly revisiting the same educational topics over the course of a student's education. Each time the content is revisited, the student gains deeper knowledge and understanding of that topic. It has the benefits of reinforcing information over time and using prior knowledge to inform future learning. Through the lens of the Go Girls curriculum, students in grade four to nine work to develop a strong self image through focused inquiry that becomes more complex and nuanced over time. Knowing that frameworks are created as research informed models or maps that represent and inform teaching and learning, we adapted Bruner's model of spiral curriculum design to create a concentric model that represents each strand of the Go Girls curriculum. Here, you can see a model that details learning related to developing a strong sense of self image. It captures the recursive nature of this learning for all of our students for grades four through nine. From their meta-analysis, Kelly Allen and her colleagues developed the socio-ecological framework for school belonging seen here on the left. Our research team noticed strong parallels to our own concentric model of Go Girls seen on the right. Similar to their framework, Go Girls teaches students to know their self, the individual factors, to know their community, the microsystem factors, and to know the world, the mesosystem factors. The four pillars, student health and well-being, girls in STEAM, service learning and student leadership lay the foundations for and permeate every stage of teaching and learning. Over the years, Go Girls has grown from a curriculum into an educational framework. It's become the foundation on which everything is built and is unique to us. The framework's design is the direct representation of our school's vision, our, our philosophy, our values, our curriculum, and our students' needs. This slide shows the next iteration of our attempt to make our Go Girls framework and pedagogy of belonging visible to ourselves and to others. It depicts more clearly how we have aligned our whole school approach with the research and better captures the cyclical nature of the student learning and the pedagogical approaches and content that are embedded in our daily work. Sharing our work at the conference was very meaningful. Not only did it help our own organization understand what a pedagogy of belonging might look like in practice, but we feel that we helped others to envision how this work might be taken up in their own classrooms and schools. As research practitioners, this model marks where we are now and where we need to go. You can see in the bottom corner, the pedagogy marked in the red areas. Well, those are areas for growth. Areas such as culturally responsive practice, DEI, cultural competence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we feel that our work is just beginning. 
Our final NCGCS presentation showcased several examples of how we translate research into practice. Kelly and Zoe will now share some more exemplars. Through these next slides, you will see the lived experience of this framework within our school. One recursive concept in the Go Girls curriculum is focused on creating a strong sense of self. This allows students to analyze and consider their own viewpoints and roles as individuals and encourages them to construct and deconstruct their beliefs and values. Discovering and exploring self-image and identity happens each year for students with the conversations and learning experiences becoming more nuanced and complex as students get older. They are also encouraged to consider if, in their relationships, they are honoring the complex identities of others. We work with students to help them understand that who we are is foundational to celebrating the multidimensional nature of all of us. In recognizing and celebrating the complexity in themselves and in those around them, students and teachers work together to craft communities of belonging. Learning that happens in Go Girls also informs the way that students live their daily lives and advocate for the big and small injustices they see and experience. Through creating and discovering their own identities, we also learn about how shifts in cultural and societal norms can help build safer spaces. Our own CGCS Gender and Sexuality Alliance, also known as a GSA, engaged in another conversation regarding our uniform, and it was a powerful example of activism and advocacy that illustrated both successes and a need for growth in our cultural competency. Students in the GSA advocated for a change in our formal uniform, which previously consisted of a kilt, button-up shirt, tie, and blazer. Students wanted to include, include pants as an option for formal uniform days, and we worked to empower them as change makers by writing a letter to administration as a starting point for their ongoing concerns. We would like to share two excerpts from those letters. The first excerpt is from the letter students worked to craft. We believe that based on our collective experiences, pants should be considered as part of the formal uniform. The uniform brings us together as a team and it offers us an inclusive environment. To further this inclusive environment, ensuring that all identities are represented is important. Right now, the focus on kilts reinforces a gender binary and emphasizes that girls must wear skirts. Not all students at CGCS identify as a girl or feel comfortable in a skirt for a variety of reasons. Everyone should feel safe in the clothing they choose to wear. We admire our student advocacy and are grappling with a shift towards cultural competence and or proficiency as we continue to proactively imagine how to create safer, braver, and more inclusive learning spaces. Through this, we want to continue honoring and amplifying student voice while also not relying on student labor. This leads us to more questions around uniform that we need to consider as the adults, policymakers, and often the holders of power in learning spaces. While we offer pants and longer kilts as an option in our formal attire, we also hear student voice around comfort, tradition, gender, culture, body size, and we wonder what's next. The questions on this slide prompt us to consider a shift towards a more culturally proactive and culturally competent teaching. Our conference presentation was just the beginning. This slide details just a few of the next steps we have planned moving forward. One important thing that we plan to do is to undertake a full curriculum review of the Go Girls program. This will need to involve all relevant community stakeholders, educational researchers, and like-minded community partners. In order to be responsive in the way that Zoe described, this will be a critical next step. As we move forward in our work, we are interested in connecting with like-minded educators and researchers. We are excited to learn with and from others and share in this journey together. If you would like to continue this conversation, if you have considerations or ideas for a professional learning cohort, or if you have an interest in creating shared partnerships, please reach out. Um, there are emails provided on this slide or to any of the presenters, absolutely. We're looking forward to connecting. Well, that marks the conclusion of our presentation. I would like to thank the entire CGCS research team for their dedication to this important work and for taking the time to create this presentation for TAPS. The following slides contain an exhaustive list of our references. A PDF of this presentation with hyperlinks has been provided. 
As a fellow research practitioner and the research leader at our school, I would like to thank you for taking the time to join us today. Please feel free to reach out. We would love to hear from you. Have a wonderful and successful school year, and we hope to see you soon.